What's up? This is Naked Eli, the mostly unclothed gamer, here on Crow's Nest. This is the second mission in Halo 3. I'm sitting here with the gravity hammer right after coming down from uh, the giant brute fight, which used to be one of the hardest fights in the game until we showed how to skip it. Look at these legs chilling. I've never actually looked up here. This brute wants me. Dude, he's waiting. All right, so what I'm going to show you guys is how to hammer launch. Um, basically from this fan all the way down the corridor to that fan so that we can skip through this section super, super fast. And then more importantly, I'm going to show you guys how to do the chasm launch, which is super, super awesome and allows us to skip the entire barracks. Um, so first things first, here we need to get this, this thing off the ground. It looks like this is in the way. Usually you don't have to do that. Um, and you can also do this during, Cort during Cortana's cutscene when you drop down. Um, these guys have all been... All right, how about this? Let me just reset checkpoint. There we go. All right, so here you see how this line is thicker than this line, which is thicker than all these other lines. So you find the thick line, you line yourself up with it, and then you want to put your foot right next to it when you're crouching. You throw a frag under your feet, and then you run into it, and that's going to allow us to set up this crate here for us to use to launch all the way down there. Now, the way hammer launching works is we're going to want to jump. And then on usually you press it at a certain point on the way up. But in here, since we have a really tight ceiling, we actually want to angle ourselves just forwards. Okay, we don't want to go high. We want to go low and fast. So on this one, you just look straight forward. And then you, on your way down, as your reticle is passing this, that's when you actually want to press it, okay? And so we jump up, we press it on the way down, bada bing, bada boom. All right, so right there, I hit into this light fixture, and that is super common. You're gonna see that happen all of the time. So this one takes a little bit of practice to get right. You see here how this also is like all the way over here. So now as we launch, there we go. That's what that's supposed to look like. And then we get straight out. All right, so I'll show you one more time. Um, maybe a good one, maybe a bad one. Throw the nade, get it up tight. Try to be around the middle area. Launch it on our way down. All right, that was a bad one. I was angled too far to the right. Let me try and get one more good one in. Throw the frag, get it straight in the middle there. And then launch ourselves through. Bada bing, bada boom. Isn't that beautiful? All right, so then we come down here. Now it's really, really important that you press that button. Otherwise, when you get over there, the mission won't load and you're going to be stuck, okay? Also, as soon as you press that button, all these drones, they, they stop annoying you and they just chill and leave. All right, so then um, right here, there is a hole. I don't know if you can see it. There's a hole in this. Maybe the closer I get. There you go, right here. So we're going to use that hole as a reference point for hammer launching off of this to go all the way over to there. All right, which allows us to not go in here, don't have to fight any of those brutes, which there's a lot of them. And then we simply press the elevator and we get up to the next section. All right, so notice that as soon as I press this button, I got a checkpoint, which is beautiful. And we're always gonna have this checkpoint here in case we mess up. So what you do is you line up uh, horizontally, you line up with that hole, so that as you're walking in, you see how we basically fill that hole with our hammer that sounds really perverted didn't intend that all right so then what you want to do is you want to run straight looking at it and then you're going to jump as soon as you touch this okay you're going to jump and hammer and you see that that's going to launch you all the way over to here oh my god i hit a checkpoint which means i now need to kill myself five times to show it to you guys again i had a feeling i'd hit the checkpoint too uh, unfortunately, this is the only way that I can do this right now to, uh, set us back. Oh my god. Alright, so that's two. And you need to do this, like, super, super fast in a row. Otherwise, this won't work. But for those who don't know, this is how you go back, uh, a full checkpoint in Halo 2, 3, or 4. And probably also, I think, I think in everything but Halo 1, basically. And, um... Yeah, I love, love, love Crow's Nest. Pretty much for this launch right here, getting us all the way over. 
All right, so we should now be back where we were. You saw I got that checkpoint, and then I'm gonna start here, run into it. As soon as I tap it, do that launch. And now notice how I took some damage there. If you're going too fast, you can actually die, all right? So you wanna make sure you're not doing that. And if you don't think you're gonna make it, you can hammer like that to hammer yourself back on. Let's try this again. All right, so you're gonna see all sorts of different iterations. Right there, I actually could have pressed the button along the way. That would have been crispy. And uh, yeah, as long as you do this, you run and jump at the same time. Sometimes you see right there, you don't get it perfectly. So you just reset the checkpoint and you try it again. And uh, right there, I think I swung a little bit too early. And so of course, timing is important. You wanna have like a certain height just like that. And then you wanna be facing that direction so you can press the button as soon as you land. And uh, if you do it correctly every time, then you should make it. As you can see, it's actually pretty consistent. Um, there's a video out there by Dark Devastation where I originally learned how to do this. And it's very different compared to Master Chief Collection. This is on Master Chief Collection. So you only want to attempt this on MCC. All right, and that's pretty much it. You press the elevator button, elevator comes down, and you're ready to go. I could do this all day. I could do this all day uh, until I die. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, ways that you could mess this up are you, if you're off center, then you're going to be shot in the wrong direction or you're not going to be launched enough. Uh, there's something special about this like shot in the middle. Um, if you try to run and jump into it the wrong way or too hard, see right there I almost died. So I use the hammer to slow myself down. Um, so it does have like a fair bit of leeway on how often you make it and usually you won't die. Um, if you feel like you're just going ridiculously fast and you're going to die, then like I said, you can just use the hammer. And if you think that you're going to want to get back into the map, then simply just be like, oh, I'm not going to make it. You can turn around and try and swing the hammer. And uh, for ones that are really, really, really close, that will actually save you. Right there. There we go. And we're dead. And that's the end of the trick. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you in the next one.